couch and the couch came with um, its own decorative pillows, but I decided to um, crochet something myself to, you know, give it a unique look. Um, so I am doing, I don't remember what I call this pattern, but there is a video of this. Um, actually, there are videos of this. This is a common pattern, um, but it's like a shell pattern. So um, I, you will need, if you're going to, dip, depending on what size, your the pillow. So I'm, my pillows are 20 inches, so I'm going to do um, 19 inches because these are, um, they're already pre-made. So I just, um, they're already fluffy. I, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Cause when you, when you use a pillow insert, you always want to go an inch, two inches large, uh, smaller than the pillow. So if you want a 20 inch pillow, the size of this pattern should be 18 inches. So when you sew it on, it will fluff up and give it a fluffy look, a little, you know, it'll bulk, it'll bulk it up. But if you don't, you can do like, um, for example, if it's a 20, I'm doing a 19, 19 inches is gonna be this. Now, the thing about this is that this is going to be a basically sewed on, so you are not gonna be able to take them off if you wanna wash them. Um, so I would recommend doing this for decorative pillows, you know, something you don't have to wash um, because again, you cannot wash them. I mean, you would have to unsew them, which you can wash them and then sew them back on. If that's something you'd like to do, I, I guess it's okay. I don't, <laughs> there's no way I'm doing it. So, okay, so this pattern, and actually I'm gonna use beads, decorative beads with this. So, okay, so with this one, you're going to do your slip knot. And then you're going to chain up five. And then you're gonna do a double crochet in this first chain. And then you're gonna um, chain one and do another double crochet. So you're gonna do a total of seven of these. So I, um, because these are gonna be sewed on I'm not going to weave in the ends. I'm going to glue them down with hot glue. And I'll show you, I mean, you can, I mean, because nobody's gonna see the inside of them and I do not want to weave ends. It's just, I don't, and gluing them on is faster. So I'll show you how to weave it in, how to weave ends if that's what you wanna do or if you wanna glue it down, it's really easy. So I was like one, two, three, four, five. I think I have six, one more. So yeah, if I, if I can avoid uh, weaving in ends, I'm not going to. I'm going to avoid it, I mean. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so then you're gonna choose the last chain one and then you're going to go into the third chain and do a uh, slip stitch. And in this same space, in this next space, you can do a single crochet. And then the next space, you're gonna do seven double crochets. And then again, you're gonna do a single crochet, and then you're gonna do seven double crochets, single crochet, seven double crochet, single crochet. So you should have a total of four of these. Okay, so once you reach the end, you're going to slip stitch into the single crochet. Um, I'm going to do, um, I'm gonna do two colors, so I'm gonna fasten off at each round, but if you're not, then what you're gonna do is chain up four, and, can, and I'll show you how to continue if you're going to use the same colors, but I'm not, so I'm just gonna, so even though I'm gonna glue this down, I'm still gonna leave a long tail, so I don't have issues, so there. So the next round, I'm going to use beads. So if you're going to do beads, and go ahead and get your um, needle or whatever yarn. What is it? I don't know what's it called, a yarn. 
Anyway, whatever you use, you use to sh to sew, to weave in your ends. Okay, that didn't work. Because um, you're going to preload. Now, I do have a suggestion. Um, if you're not sure where you wanna place your beads, um, one side, the, the, what I'm doing is one side, I'm gonna do it with beads. And then the back side without beads because nobody's gonna look at it, who cares? So what I suggest is you do the back side first. And then you look at your pattern, you're like, okay, I want these beads and how many? And then depending on where you want them, how many, then you would preload them. So I know I'm gonna use four. Um, I'm gonna try to remember what color I used on these. Okay, so I'm gonna use eight, sorry, eight. So. Yeah, that's what I did. So I was like, oh, you know, that's how I decided where to place the pieces by looking at it. Lose any more of these? I don't have many at least left. All right. All right. Okay. I'll pick them up a little bit. Okay. So you're gonna just preload your beads. Then you can go anywhere. It doesn't matter. And attach the yarn of your next color. That's how I do it. So then you're going to just chain up four. You're gonna go in the same space and do a double crochet. You're going to chain three. Now this, these, these are gonna be the corners and they're all gonna be the same each round. Do a double crochet, chain one, and then a double crochet. So these are your corners. So one, two, three, four, five, and chain of five. And then do the other corner, double crochet. You're gonna chain one, Double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. And then you're going to chain five, and then do it. So that's what you had, that's, so do the same on each, on each, um, on each of the four corners. Okay, so before you finish, um, well, I mean, after you finish the fourth um, corner, you're going to chain two, then you're going to do a double crochet into this third chain right here. This. So now you're going to do seven double crochets and then a single crochet and seven double crochets, but I'm gonna use the beads. Now, um, the other pillows, because I already made these. I mean, this is the last one that I'm making and I wanted to do the tutorial on this one. I made a mistake on um, this round. Instead of doing seven, I did, let me see. I think I did five. Um, so I messed up, but since I messed up on one, I have to mess up. I don't, I guess my, it's my OCD. I want them all to look the same. So I made, so I had to do them I had to do them all the same with the same mistake. So let me see. So it's two, three, and then this fourth one, that's where I'm gonna place my beads. So you're gonna place your bead, you're gonna push it all the way to the back, you're gonna yarn over, and then before, and then pull through, and then before you finish, push the bead down, and then finish your double crochet. And then I did one, one, two, so I did six instead of seven, but it should be seven. But like I said, all of them, um, I made a mistake on one. I didn't want to go back and correct it. So I just made the other ones look the same with the mistake, but again, should be seven. So you're gonna do your single crochet and then your supposed to be seven. This is three, so on the fourth one, I'm gonna use bead, push all the way back, turn over, pull through before you finish the double crochet, push the bead down, 
and then finish the double crochet. I miscounted, I don't know why. I was probably distracted watching my tablet. I realized it when it was too late, I'm like, eh, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, so once you finish that corner, then you're going to single crochet in the middle of these. So since there are seven, so it's gonna be one, two, three in the middle, you're gonna do a single crochet. And then you repeat the corners the same. Seven double crochet, single crochet, seven double crochet, single crochet in the middle, and so forth. Okay, so once you're at the end, you do your last single crochet and then pass it off. If not again, you will do your four. And if you wanna continue with the same color, then chain up four, but I'm going to. Okay. So that's how I'm going to um, just go on. So, of course, with each round, the pattern grows. So just attach it anywhere, it doesn't matter. You, um, I would suggest doing it in the middle of, not in the corners, but here. So just chain up four. And then you're gonna do a single crochet. I mean a double crochet, golly. Chain five. And then you're gonna do your corner, which is a double crochet, uh, chain one, double crochet. Chain three, I have to finish this because it's getting dark. Single, cro double crochet. And the sun, oh, this one's coming out again. Double crochet in there, and then do a um, chain, and then a double crochet. And then chain five. And then you're going to do your double crochet chain one and double crochet and that's it so it's getting dark I don't think I'm gonna have to show you how to continue this tomorrow but what you're gonna do is um, you're gonna finish you do your corner your V stitch I'm gonna call it the V stitch just your corner V stitch corner V stitch corner and then um, when you finish this corner remember to chain two and then do a double crochet in the third chain right here. And then you're gonna do seven double crochets, or six, because the, the double crochet that you do here counts as one. So you do six, and then you're going to do a single crochet in the middle of these. Seven double crochets, single crochet, seven, and then do your single crochet and then seven double crochets, and then you continue. And that's how you continue. So when you come back, you finish this round, you're going to have these two right here. So you're gonna have a V, um, you're gonna have, um, when you do this this round, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna, is that how it does? Yeah, let me see if I can. Yes, because you're gonna do a single crochet here. So on the top of the single crochet, you're gonna do a V-stitch and that's how it grows. So again, um, just make sure you preload your beads on whatever round or how many you want. And, um, and that's the pattern. So I'm doing, I can't remember how many rounds I did, but it measured the 19. I think I did five. Gosh, I can't remember. I'll count and I'll come back and let you know how many I did of the, um, of that, um, how many rounds for the 19 inch size. Okay, so I did 11 rounds for the 19 inch size. 11, 12, 11, 10 rounds is 18 inches and I think um, nine rounds is 17, I think, I think so. But this is just an example of what it looks like. I hope I can put it in here. This is um, the back side. So as I was saying, it's easy if you do the back side first and then 
go back and say, oh, I want to put a bead here, and then you can count, and that way you can determine where you want your beads to go. If you can't picture it, like me, you know, I can't picture it in my mind, so I had to do that. But yeah, just um, once you, once you, um, so here is, so this is a round, so the third round, you know, so you're going to do a single uh, V-stitch in each of these as you go, except for the, uh, for the corners. So except for the clothes, but see, as you can see, oh God, what was that? You know, you got your V-stitch right here. And see, right here it's two and then it grows. Three, and then you're gonna have four and five and that's how it grows and that's where you're gonna do your V-stitches and your seven. See, uh, double crochets because you do your single crochet on the top here on the round. Okay, so I'm going to finish this and then I'll come back and show you how to, if you want to, weave in the ends if you're not sure how to do that or you want to sh see how I glue it down because I'm lazy um, then I will show you that next
Okay, to weave in the ends, you're just going to grab your yarn, your the tail, and like I said, I recommend recommend leaving a long tail so that way you have a um, because if you do it too short, you're not going to be able to do this. So leave a long tail, and you're going to go through these. And the you're going to do it on the back side, of course, and just make sure not to go too deep. You don't want the yarn showing up on this side. I'm just going to pull through like this. And then you're going to go back once more, but instead of going through here, go through this loop right here. And again, just go through like this. on it. Don't pull on it too much because then you'll bunch it up. And if you want it really secure, then go back once more and then go through, not through here, but through here or through here. So I'm going to go through here and just go. And that's it. And you just cut your yarn. Now for this one that's here, on this side because it's a little bit different. You can do this. Just again being careful not to go too deep. Oh, well, actually not to go on the others, not to go. I can't think of the word to say. But anyway, just make sure you go it you do it um to where you're not gonna if this is not gonna come on, on the other side. Just be careful with that. And you can just do this. See, and, and the yarn is heading, it's, it's hidden right here. And then you just do the same as you did with the other one. Just go this way. And then back through a, the, a different loop. If you want it, you can do it like that, or if you want it really secure go through this loop right here so it doesn't matter because nobody's going to see this it's going to be the back of the pill so it doesn't have to be pretty and that's it so that's the weave if you want to weave in it weave in call it if you want to glue it down which is faster so see grab this yarn so you take your hot glue gun just real glue gun and then i would just very carefully not to put too much on there because again, you don't want it to seep through. Um, so just more or less, just like a little line. Then you're gonna grab this yarn and then just push it down like that. It can get, this can get a little messy, so be careful with your nails um, if you touch it, it will get stuck to your nails and hands and it gets really, so just be careful. Um, especially if you just had your nails done, you don't want to ruin it with the glue. And on this one, I'm going to put it more or less like this. So I'm going to glue, I'm going to do the glue right here, the line right here. I'm going to put it that much and then just do this. And just press it down a little bit. You can use your crochet hook to help you. If you get glue on it, it comes off. It doesn't matter. So leave it there. It dries pretty quickly. Then once it's set, then just take your scissors and cut off the excess like that. And that's it. And that's the glue down version because um, I just think it's faster than, you know, that didn't take me long compared to how long it took me to to weave in the end. So, but it's your choice again. Nobody's going to see the back of it. So I'm lazy. So I'm doing it. I'm not going to even bother with the sewing in this stuff. So anyway, so that's it. So I'm going to finish this and then I'll come back and show you what I did to sew them together. Okay, so I've, um, so you're just gonna grab your two panels and the wrong side is facing together. Make sure you do that because I've actually sewn pillows on with 
um, the wrong way on the wrong with the wrong sides. So just grab your and match them up. And I'm gonna start more or less here in the middle. And you grab your yarn, do a slip knot. Have I called this a slip stitch? No, I think I've called it. A, it's a slip knot. I mean, maybe I've called it a slip stitch in the past. I don't know. Probably. So I'm gonna do a single crochet. Just attach it. Make sure that you are they're aligned, and that you stitch them like that together. Because if not, they're gonna be all wonky if you don't. So just make sure that you're just, that you don't. That if, um, like for example, if you do this, you miss that, it's gonna bunch up or it's gonna look kind of strange if you do it. So just make sure that it's all aligned. So I'm going to do this, um, I'm gonna do half. By that I mean I'm gonna do like from here to here and then the bottom and then slip it through. I would, oops, sorry. I would, oh no, it's on. I would recommend um, leaving a, a, a wide opening because it's, um, you know, you don't want to have a hard time slipping this thing on to the pillow. So, so that um, you can do a half double crochet if you want your border to be a little bit um, thicker, I guess, wider. Or you can do two rounds of the single crochet or one round of the half double crochet. I I don't recommend doing a double crochet. I don't think it would look good, but, um, but that's your choice. That's just my opinion. Um, but I'm just gonna do one round of the single crochet. I don't want it to, I just want a simple border. My daughter's at home, so. So yeah, I'm gonna do that and I'll come back and show you exactly what I did. It's better to show you because it's kind of hard to explain, to visualize. And then I will, I will slip in. I don't know how I'm gonna do that because, um, anyway, I'll come back and show you that real quick. Okay, so I'm finished. So this is what I did. Did more or less, more or less half. I don't know if you can see it. So I did this. I left this as an opening. So it's a good, it's a good, um, it's a good wide opening. So I'm gonna stuff this thing. Um, I, I don't think I can actually show it because of the position of the, where my phone is. I don't have enough room, but. Um, So um, make sure that when you when you are finished with your sides, do not fasten off. You don't need to fasten off. You can just leave it like that and then just stuff the pillow. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'll come back and we'll continue with the, um, the, the stitching or the sewing together. Okay, so the pillow is, is in there. So I'm gonna continue to sew these together if your pillow is larger than your, I don't know what you would call it, your panel, or your, yeah, your panel, I wouldn't call them panels, then you're gonna have a little bit of a hard time. It's gonna be very um, tight, but you can do it and you can, you can just stretch it out. So it can be done, it's no big deal. So I'm gonna continue to sew it around and then I'm going to come back and um, show you how I weave in the ends. Okay, I found it finally finished to be honest I really don't like doing these pillows well it's just my the way it's hard to position them in a way you can crochet and then you have to pull on it it's just no anyway so um, I'm gonna have a weave the ends so just like since it's gonna be the back again nobody's gonna see but still you want to do a good job so I'm just going through here, making sure not to 
go so further down to the other side. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna come back this way, skipping this. And then I'm just gonna go back this way. And then I'm gonna skip this right here and just go back this way. And it's neat enough where, you know, you can't see, especially if it's a dark color, you'll be able to see it. Okay, then you want to do the other side or the other end. And this one, I'm just going to see if I can do this. I'm just going to do this real quick. I'm going to go under here, come out here. And then I'm going to go back here. Here and then just one more back through here, and that's it. So if, again, if it's a, if it's like a dark color like this one, it's a little bit darker, then you won't be able to see it. You want to do it in a way where you can, you know. But if, to be honest, people that don't know crochet or knitting really cannot tell. Where you've sewn in the ends because they just don't they don't know so nobody can actually nobody's gonna ever receive this and it's it's okay it's hidden well enough so that's it so that's the pillow oh that's the last one and i'm all done because again so uncomfortable sewing these once the pillow is on my arms hurt it's just hard to position and um you have to uh be careful when you if you hold a crochet hook like I do you you have to go like this very slowly because if you go like this and it'll get stuck and then you'll lift this it's it's kind of a it's not fun but that's my opinion I don't like it maybe other people do but anyway. so that's it that's the pillow um please email me with any questions I hope you learned something new today and thank you for watching